Hey, Happy Mother's Day. Good to see you. Hey, Love the shirt. I'm on the same. Thank you. Um, my name's Marty. Um, I've had a pretty rough year. Oh. Um, but I'm trying to look at the positives yeah. as much as I possibly can. What's the best thing to have happened to you so far this year? Oh. Hmm. Oh, yeah. That 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 talk from Spate was pretty awesome. <laughs> I tell you, I think I needed that as an actor. You know, we're all in this crazy transition place. Isn't it funny? I mean, you, you know, and I, I know that maybe the stakes of what you're dealing with has so much more depth, but I look at us coming out of post-COVID, and then for me at least with this strike, and uncertainty is just horrible. Like, uncertainty is just such a beast. And, and I feel like that, that combined with, one, it, it, tragedy, and, and not to get into whatever you're dealing with, but sometimes, in our, in our ability to have to like face tragedy, I feel like we just have to lower our stakes to a daily mindset. And I, I really try to do that, where I'm like, you know, I've got to let go of some things. I've got to realize where I can, and, and again, not to take away from what you're going through, but the more I can focus on someone else's issue, the more I can focus on being their friend for someone else. It, it sounds so naive, but man, does that fill me up. And, and I know in communities like this, when you guys all get together, that's happening constantly, and I think that's why this stuff's so great. So I hope you have a couple moments here uh, this week where people can fill you up and, and you can walk away with a smile. Just get through the day. Just get through the day. That's all we ever got to do. One day at a time. That's it. But thank you for the question. Thank you. Bless you. Yeah, sorry. Hi, Nate. Hello. I'm Lily. Hi, Lily. So if there was a zombie apocalypse, and you were stuck with three people that are in the convention of the actors. Who of those people will you choose and okay. why? Okay, hold on. From the, so from the show? From this convention. Oh, from this convention as in uh, on the, oh, well, well yeah. duh, I'd have, I'd have the boys. I'd have to have the boys. <laughs> and I, and I'd, have, I'd, have, I'd have the director spate. I wouldn't have the trickster. Because <laughs> then we could all pick on him and be like, yo, what's this shot? No one we'll make a movie. <laughs> but yes, definitely I want the protection. And I'll just be the laughs. Yeah, of course. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm pretty quick. I can outrun a zombie. I still can. Not for long distances. But <laughs> on a dead sprint, I can be the zombie. Hello, my name oh. is Hope. Hope? Oh, good name. Um, so over the summer, I was a camp counselor at a Girl Scout camp where we all had to have goofy names instead of our real name. Yeah. So my question to you is what would your silly counselor name be? Oh, good one. I'd say Booger. <laughs> Booger's strong. It's not too dicey for the kids. It'll get some laughs and a little gross. So <laughs> Booger's going for it. And if I need an adjective, then it'd be like long, crusty Booger. <laughs> Huh? Good? <laughs> we've, got, we've got some wasabi in the back and guacamole. Anyone afterwards. <laughs> That's amazing. I like that name. What was yours? What was your name? Um, my name was Oreo, and I have a best friend who's here who's named Sunny. Oh, loved it. That's good. You definitely went up a, a little better than me. <laughs> Should have went with something deliciously edible. <laughs> but for some kids, it is. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you, Hope. Cool. Love the outfit. Thank you. Take the hair, too. Um, Goodwill purchase. Yeah! Even on thrift. How many stores did you have to go to to get it? One. Wow. Oh, oh this is Goodwill. This is GPN. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we went high end. <laughs> Clearance, or are we talking like a legit retail purchase price at JC? Definitely always on sale. Okay. Always on sale. So I know that you grew up in Ohio. Yes. And I am a transplant. I grew up in Texas, but I've been in Ohio since I was 18. Oh, wow. So my Ooh. advice is oh, yeah. that I would like some advice on how to survive, period. Just to, survive. <laughs> Just to survive Ohio? Just to survive. Work out of LA. <laughs> that is definitely my uh, unfortunate knowledge of <laughs> choice. What part of Ohio are you at? Uh, I'm from Cleveland. Oh, okay. Yeah. Woo, Cleveland, baby. No, it is. I, I hate the 
one, I love Ohio. I'm back. I, I, I got a place there from family. I, my, all my family's from there. My, my wife's family's from there. And as our kids got older, you just start feeling pools. And, and, uh, and so moving back, getting a place there, I always say I don't think I could live here without L.A., but I don't think I can live in L.A. without Ohio. So maybe that's what it is. You just gotta, you gotta, you gotta go somewhere else just long enough to appreciate it a little bit. I don't know who you got around you, because Cleveland, you know, it's, it's definitely not the Mecca, but you know, you can only go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame so many times. Last week. Last week. Yeah. And the Browns, we'll see, I don't know. Uh, Well, good luck, Godspeed. I'm, I'm about 40 minutes down. I'm in a town called Worcester. If you ever find yourself there, I'm there. That's where I'm at, College of Worcester. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I am so glad you got to be Sully because you are the perfect Sully. Oh, thank you. Woo! 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 I got to pick it, and not to interrupt your question, but I got to say, out of all the things I've, I've ever played, I get the most kick out of people that come up and talk to me about Sully. Like, and usually there's a passion to it that is so overwhelming. Like, but if I go to like Disneyland or Disney World specifically, I get to, I, it's the best when it's supernatural. Based. So if you ever know anybody, so please come talk to me. Please, I will freely give you a Sully hug. Um, but you supernaturalers, man. I had, this is what's amazing. Not to, this actually happened at Disney. I'm there for Clawhouse, or I'm there for Zootopia. Um, and uh, we're staying, I, it was Easter, I think, because they were doing like a chocolate egg ex exhibit, and Clawhauser was on the egg, and so I, well, I don't know how much I'm allowed to talk about this stuff, whoops. <laughs> anyway, so I was the small Hauser at Disney. <laughs> anyway, just to finish the story, I'm in an elevator. The elevator opens, and I, 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 this person might be watching this somewhere, but just starts shaking and crying, and just goes, Sully! Sully! And the door is like closed. <laughs> and I, I'm with my family and I'm like, guys, I gotta go back to that floor. And so I'm taking a picture. I go back out, I see if I take a picture, and it was so amazing, but she, she was really shaking with the camera. And, I, and I'm like, it's alright, we'll ask somebody to take a picture. But it was my first experience. I had just, it had just come out. Like whenever that, that lined up, it was definitely the first fan I had ever had, and it was so amazing. And I'm like, people really love this. And then from there on out, just um, the love. Thank you so much. I got to only do one episode, and that you guys love me. It's really humbling to even be invited to come back. Anyway, so go ahead. <laughs> um, so what were you like as a kid? Did you have an imaginary friend? And if you didn't, what would your imaginary friend look like today? Oh, You're that's so good. One. I love it. Okay, I didn't have an imaginary friend. You know what I did do, though? I was like, what? I was crazy energetic. I mean, like, everything, whatever this is, I, I continue to be. And I was a joke teller. Like, my, my dad would like, tell us a joke, Nate. Like, that was, like, my thing to, like, do whatever. Um, but I used to wrestle pillows on a trampoline. <laughs> I don't know how many people grew up with trampolines. It's a very Midwest thing. But uh, for some odd reason, Midwesters, we all have trampolines in our yards. But I would take these pillows off of my, the, the sofa, and I, I'd act like I was just this, this wrestler. Like, I was really into WWF at the time. And there are so many videos that my brother have of me where I'm like, Oh, what's going on? Pile driving, and then I see him, and I'm like, shut up, turn that off, shut up. I'm doing it out in the open. I don't know why I thought it was such a secret. So my imaginary friends would probably have been like, yeah, Randy Savage, Macho Man. <laughs> oh yeah, who's gonna do that? Do the gym. God bless, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Good question. Hello. Hello. What was your favorite subject in school? Ooh, school? Yeah. I wish I would have gotten better at that. No, I would say I love English. I love creative writing. I actually, I love, I love to write. Um, and uh, and yeah, I definitely would have leaned heavily into English, math, algebra, geometry. I was horrible. I I was failing algebra too, or whatever it was, but I was playing uh, Tevya in Fiddler on the Roof. <laughs> 
I said, well, the roof, that was crazy, no? I, yeah. I know all my lines still, oddly enough. I really gotta get that checked out. <laughs> but, but anyway, I remember I, we opened it, was, I was the lead in the, in, I was, yeah, I played Tavio with my junior year. And I just remember my algebra teacher coming up after I was done. He goes, Nate, you are horrible at algebra. You're pretty good on that stage. <laughs> he was like, just stay clear of math. And I'm like, all right. So that was definitely my, uh, my go-to. But creative writing, I, I actually would have like the power of the pen and stuff like that. I really leaned into all of that. And I, I actually took that into college specifically. Um, I got a, I won a couple things and got published in a couple, you know, little short stories. And I do write. I do. I haven't sold anything, but I, I have screenplays that are on the on the couch of old Nate Torrance gets uh, famous enough to produce something. But uh, yeah, thank you.